people will go crazy when they experience <laughs> every year apple releases a new version of ios which offers new features tweaks in interface privacy and security updates and lot more Hello all, I'm Nikhil from iGeeks blog and today in this video, I'll talk about the next version of iPhone OS and that is iOS 15. What to expect, what to not, privacy and security updates, release date, supported devices and lot more. So watch this video till the end to know everything about iOS 15. But wait a minute, let me ask you one thing. So you will never miss any future video updates from us and that is to subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon. Now, if you have done that, let's talk about the very first feature that Apple may have planned for us in iOS 15 and that is wishlist in the App Store. Do you know this feature was there in the App Store but sadly Apple removed it years ago and I really wish to make it return with iOS 15. With these features, we can make a list of the apps and games like which is practically handy or you can say kinda reading list in Safari so we can explore them and download them later. This can be a great feature for iPhone users with 32GB or 64GB storage which may not have enough space to install such apps but they can make a list and download them later. Ok so the next feature is about notifications. Apple has already worked on this feature and offered group notification in iOS 14. However, there is a room for improvement too. I want to compare these notification features with Android. Hey. Don't judge me, I am an iOS user but trust me this is for a good cause, of course. I often wake up to a dozens of notifications from mail, whatsapp and instagram. If my daily driver is an android device, I'll find 3 notification cards. One for mail, the second for whatsapp and the third one for instagram. And all the different notifications from the individual app will combine and on my selection it will view each individual mail or message or updates. So on android. All notification remains neatly organized. Now let's talk about iOS 14 which has a group notification features but in a different way. It combines notification from individual chat or updates and that again shows multiple notification from a single app but for individual threads. So the rumors are in iOS 15 Apple may update this notification and will offer a notification customization to the users. And just like notifications Apple will make Siri smarter. Let's admit Siri isn't that great and yes it improved too but again it lags significantly behind Google Assistant. Apple has to work hard and rumor said we will have a better speech recognition and native answer in Siri with iOS 15. For now while making this video Siri pulls up the web searches but what makes the difference is the ability to answer a lot of questions directly and that's what I'm expecting in the next update. Ok so the next update. That will bring a feature to allow more default apps. With iOS 14, Apple allowed us to select a default apps for a browser and email clients and user appreciated this change, right? And in iOS 14.5, we can pick a music app to play a song. But Apple said, this is not a way to set a default music player. However, Apple will continue to lose a little bit and will allow setting other apps to be default on our iPhone. And I'm hoping music, chat, videos and camera apps to be there in the list. So now what's next? Mm, I guess widget will be the next thing that will get an update in iOS 15. iOS 14 introduced widgets which are great and new addition to the iPhone OS. However, these widgets are limited to the home screen only and may be lacking to be there on the lock screen. Ok, let me add one more thing that is again for widgets and that we are expecting to have this update in the upcoming iOS version and that is the interactive widgets. Widgets are simply not useful on iOS because they aren't interactive. iOS 15 is rumored to be introducing an interactive widgets and one can easily interact with them to do a certain actions. Actions like change volume, enable or disable specific toggles, change photos, quick view of messages and lot more. Not only this, but more sizes are also reportedly coming to the widgets in iOS 15 as currently we have small, medium and large sizes of them but a bunch of new in between sizes could arrive. This will make the widget support on iOS 15 much more useful and more customizable. Let's continue to talk about the lock screen. One of the big rumors about the upcoming iPhone update is an always on display. I completely agree this is a not an iOS update 
but this will play a major role to adjust the refresh rate all the way down to the 1 hertz while having a always on display which will help us to save iphone's battery life so if you eagerly waiting for this feature to have it on an iphone just like apple watch then this year 2021 will bring a good news for you okay the next thing is support for more languages apple introduced a translator app in ios 14 but it supports 12 languages as of now and which is less in number so we want to see a big improvement to this with ios 15. i think apple will add a new languages with a new version of ios but there is a lot of work to do if apples want to be the best translator app on the block now let's talk about the feature that may everyone wants to have on their iphone and that is home screen grid so tell me how many of you want to have black icons on your iphone i wish to and for some reasons i don't wish to hide a beautiful wallpapers behind the app icons and not only this sometimes it's a little bit uncomfortable to use a large screen phone especially those pro max version with one hand and in such situation keeping app icons at a convenient place will solve the problem unfortunately apple does not allow to do this the home screen grid is fixed whether i'm using a 6.7 inch iphone 12 pro max or a 5.4 inch iphone 12 mini and apps must start at the top of the screen in left to right order direction so i wish apple to introduce a feature in the next version of ios to adjust and place app icons on the home screen i am sure we all are excited about these features but when to expect ios 15 i guess you all know that just like other ios version this year apple will announce ios 15 at the wwdc event in june 2021 along with the developer beta and public beta versions and like other ios version apple will release a public version most likely at the iphone event in september 2021 so if you can't wait along then you can sign up to try the beta version only if your iphone is on the supported device list yep the ios 15 supported device list we all know the recent iphone series like 12 11 10s 10 will surely support ios 15 but which are the rest okay so the rest of the devices are iphone se 2020 10r 8 8 plus and 7 plus unfortunately iphone 6s and 6s plus are not on the list due to the minimum storage requirement and the powerful chip and iphone 6s series has 16 gb of storage and a9 dual core chip i hope your iphone is in this list of supported devices so i would like to ask you one question and want you to, to share the answer in the comments down below and the question is which feature of ios 15 excite you the most or a share a feature that you want to have in ios 15 and yes let me ask you one more thing did you like this video if yes then please give a big thumbs up to this video and subscribe to our iGeeks blog channel i am nikhil signing off thanks for watching stay safe stay connected